suck yep this is the 3800 series 2 and if you know the 3800s the series 2 has a uh, nice common problem with the intake manifold gasket leaking because it's got a damn composite intake manifold and then the coolant gets in your oil and the person who owned this car didn't realize that and uh, bam your oil looks like butterscotch And F's up your rod. Pretty much. Yeah. It's really easy to change the belt now. Yeah. Oh, yeah the hardest part with t of taking this engine out was um, getting this motor mount loose. These bolts were in unbelievably tight. And um, ironically, that the that the hardest part of the job is the what is what you're supposed to have to do to remove the belts. That's right, the motor mount goes through the area of the belts, and the bracket has to come off too in order to change the belts. Yeah, the bracket bolts on here, here, and down there. Down right here. All right, there. It covers all this stuff. Yeah, and then the motor mount hooks onto this. So obviously, you can see the belts and they look <laughs> can't get around it. Yeah. Around the mount. So just taking the mount off the body isn't enough. You gotta take the whole bracket off. Yeah. And not, it's not good enough to just remove the bolt that is holding the bracket off. You have to take off the bolt and you have to remove the stud. <laughs> because there's not <laughs> yeah, enough clearance. Right. There's not enough clearance to get the bracket off because it hits the side of the uh, uh, engine compartment. Yep. So there it is. One bad 3800. One bad alternator pairing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the super... What would you say this was? The supercharger? Supercharger pulley. Like that oh, in it. Yeah. Needs a coupler well, replaced. Yeah. But this engine's I mean, we're not using anything from this. Yeah. Well it's supercharger's good. This yeah. is a parts engine here. Yep. So hopefully, hopefully the rebuild someday. Yeah. Hey, it didn't throw its rod. I mean it's still salvageable. It's a good core. Yeah. Now now all you have to do is just hope that the junkyard can finally find a 3800 supercharged that doesn't have the same problem. Yeah. The junkyard said that they'd give they get us one this weekend. Dave calls them up the other day that they said that they had two and they tested them both and both had problems stemming from the uh, 
bad intake gasket ruining internal parts one of the engine. One had a knock, the other one he said had poor compression. <laughs> nice. So they have, they have yet to find, what did he say? Finding the uh, 3800 supercharged is uh, proving to be a pain in the ass. Definitely not as easy as swapping an engine on a craftsman. No. But it's out. Yep. Doesn't look like we damaged anything either. That's good. This is another nice thing that's uh, you know different from the little saber is the whole wiring harness of the engine is one plug. Oh really? Like the little saber where it's hardwired oh, all the way right. to the dashboard. Yeah, you're you're 87 little yeah. saber. Yeah. This is a block heater. Sweet. You should put that. Where, where is that on the block? On the front. It's. Oh yeah. Right yep. in the freeze out plug. That should be easy enough to change. Yeah, it just screws in. Yeah. I don't know how the plugs come out, but. Well, very nice. That's a fine mess we got ourselves into. Yep, now all you gotta do is get a damn working engine to put in here. Yeah, now you gotta find a place to dump this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah, I'm excited about it too. Alright.